We are going now to talk about inequalities. If I have something like this, x equals 5, that's an equality. If I have an inequality, I have order. One number is smaller than or greater than another. So let's say I have x is less than 5. If I said to you, give me a number less than 5. You could say 1, you could say 2, you could say 3, you could say negative 1, a negative 4. And I could have 1 and a half. I could have 3 and 3 quarters. I could have decimals, 2.5. They're all less than 5. So, if I asked you the question, give me a number or this statement of all the numbers less than 5, you couldn't do it because there's an infinite number. When our answer is infinite, we graph. So I have to show somebody I know that all the numbers less than 5 are a lot of numbers. So I draw my number line. I label my point 5. All the numbers less than 5, I have to designate if it goes to the left or to right. All the numbers less than 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, go this way. So I'd make this thicker. Then there's one other thing i got to decide. If it includes 5 or not. This says x is less than 5. That means I come close, 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 but I never, it has to be less than 5. So now, anyone that writes a math book can decide how they want to designate it. We're going to designate it with a parenthesis and bracket. So, it doesn't include 5, I put a parenthesis. Let's say I have Grex is greater than or equal to, this little line means or equal to, let's make it 7. I draw my number line, here is my 7. All the numbers greater than 7 go this way. Now, this means I come close, 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 close to 7, but this also includes 7. So that means I have to have a bracket. So if it has this little line, it's bracket. If it doesn't, it's parenthesis. Let's do another one with a negative. Let's have x is less than or equal to negative 1. Here's my number line. Here's my negative 1. Less than goes this way. Then you have to decide if it's parenthesis or bracket. It has or equal, so it's bracket. In the state of New Jersey, if you came through the high school system, instead of parenthesis and bracket, they use open circle and solid dot. So like I said, depending on what school system you came, what textbook you use, but there's a way to designate and it might be a little different. Let's say I have a fraction. Let's make this x is greater than one and a half. No big deal. I label this one and a half. Greater goes this way, it doesn't have or equal, it's parentheses. So, I should know how to graph inequalities. Then, I have to know two other notations. One is called interval notation, and the other is called set builder notation. So, let's start with an inequality. We might as well do the one that's right here. If I have x is less than or equal to negative 1, and I want to put it in interval notation, it's easier if I do my graph first, and I say, all right, all these points are less than 1, less than negative 1. So, my interval. My interval's going to be, I have an interval. If I have a bracket, it's going to be parenthesis and bracket. It's smaller number to larger number. This is going smaller, smaller, smaller this way. 
This is going to negative infinity, negative infinity. This is going to positive infinity. So this is going from negative infinity to negative one. If I wanted to put this in set builder, make it look a little better. If I wanted to put this in set builder notation, set builder notation is going to be a brace. And we just have our letter X. We have a straight up and down line that means such that. And then we just repeat our inequality. X is less than or equal to negative 1. So it's no big deal. All right, let's do this one. X is greater than 1 and a half. This is my graph. This is my interval. So now in interval notation, it's going to be parenthesis, parenthesis. There's no brackets in this one. Infinity is always parenthesis. It's smaller number to larger number. This is going to infinity, which is huge. So my smaller number is one and a half. So I can write it as one and a half or three halves. Either one is right. Three halves to infinity. And it's two sets of parentheses. If I want to put it in set builder notation, I have a brace x such that, and I just repeat this. x is greater than one and a half. All right, let's do two more. We'll do the graph, interval notation, and set builder notation. Let's say I have, we'll use an A this time. A is greater than or equal to negative 2. All right, my graph. I find negative 2. Greater goes this way. It has or equal, so it's a bracket. Set builder. It's going to be bracket, parenthesis. It's going to go from my smaller number to my larger. So negative 2 to infinity. Set builder. I have my brace. It just repeats this. A such that A is greater than or equal to negative 2. We'll do another one. Let's make it Y is less than negative 4. I graph it. Here's negative 4. Less than goes this way. Then you got to decide whether it's parenthesis or bracket. I don't have or equal, so it's parenthesis. Now I've got to put an interval notation. This is my interval. It's smaller number to larger number, so this is going to negative infinity. So it's going to be, I don't have any brackets, so it's negative infinity to negative 4. Interval notation. It's going to be y such that y is less than negative 4. I just want to mention one more thing if your variable is on the right. I have to be able to read this either way. This says, if I read left to right, it says negative 2 is greater than x. I am graphing x and I want to know what x is, so I have to be able to read it the other way also. If I say x first, this says x is less than negative 2. So when I go to graph it, I am graphing x. This is negative 2. X is less than negative 2. So it goes this way. It doesn't have the or equal, so it's a parenthesis. Interval notation. Two sets of parentheses. I don't have a bracket. This is negative infinity, very small, to negative 2. Set builder. X has to be first. So I have X such that. X, and I have to say X first in my head. 
x is less than negative 2. And that's the one people get wrong. So we'll do one more. Um, let's do it. 5 is less than or equal to y. All right, I'm going to graph it. But remember, I am graphing y. I have to read this 5 is less than or equal to y, but y is greater than or equal to 5. So here's my 5, so you have to say the y first in your head. y is greater than this, so it goes this way. I do have an e or equal, so it's a bracket. That's my graph. My interval notation, I take it straight from my graph. Bracket, parentheses. Smaller number to larger number. It's going to go from 5 to infinity. So sometimes your infinity is first, sometimes it isn't. It depends. Then set builder. It's going to be y such that, but your y has to be first. So it's y is greater than or equal to 5.